My name is Frances Mayhew and I'm the Managing and Artistic Director of Wilton's Music Hall. I have been here 10 years mm -hmm. and it has changed, it has changed enormously um, the things that we do here, but the building hasn't really changed too much I hope, it's just more solid. Um, it was quite a wreck when I was here, uh, it didn't have any running water, any electrics and 60% of the space was derelict, it had fallen in, it didn't have a roof, um, it was gutted in the 70s and never put back together again so it was a very shambolic state of affairs really and over time we've been repairing it patch by patch and room by room and then starting to inhabit it bit by bit. Um, putting on little performances, running little bars or bigger performances in the hall sometimes and renting it for film location work which paid for the bills and also paid for repairs, temporary repairs as we went along and then um, in more recent years we've applied for bigger grants and luckily we've had money from the Heritage Lottery Fund and many other great supporters and we're at the final stages of repairing the whole building so we're nearly there, we'll finish in four months. I couldn't be more delighted with the collaboration with BBT and Wilton's. It's like a real dream. Uh, Wilton's first met BBT when um, Oduo did a performance yeah. here and we were really struck by their talent and everyone was so lovely about putting it together and everyone that we worked with. And because BBT um, sort of put that kind of springboard and nurture young musicians in a way that Wilton's would love to be able to do but doesn't have the capacity to do but Wilton's has space and interesting spaces and we've never wanted to be a typical music uh, venue or a concert hall that's quite stuffy or uh, has a very prescriptive program we've always wanted artists to be themselves and that's what we thought Odua had been when they were on the stage we thought wow we've never seen performers like that they were so um, relaxed and they had such a great program and so meeting BBT again to talk about how we could work together and um, the generosity of everyone at BBT saying well we have these amazing artists we'll talk to them and we'll see if they're interested in doing something a little bit unusual in one of your more unusual spaces for an intimate audience that isn't stuffy but also gives the artist complete freedom to choose what they want to play and to talk right to the audience and with a, with a direct dialogue and say I chose this because of this and I like this because of this and invite that conversation um, almost like a, a salon um, with very talented people I think is a privilege for the audiences but um, is a great way for us to meet people and for our audiences to meet people um, and you never know what will come out of those collaborations. So it might be a small thing to start off with and intensive discussions and experiences. Or maybe they'll bubble up into larger things. But the nice thing about the BBT relationship is there's no pressure to force a commercial angle on it or um, a bums on seat angle. This is purely a, an artistic creative venture, which um, we love.